Uh, nice fish. Uh, it's been a smooth transition for me. Um, been challenging. Uh, it's been a big change for me. Um, coming a day and four hours away from from where I'm from, definitely a big a big change. But. Um, I mean, it was a challenge for me that I wanted to make and wanted to have upon myself. And it's been fun up to this point. I mean, um, just having the opportunity to learn different guys, get to know these guys, a new staff, even the community around here, that's something that I'm really interested in. So, um, I mean, it's been fun. Just a, a little hot, you know, but I mean, I'm adjusting to it pretty well, so. What made you decide to pick this school? Um, I mean, it was one of the schools that, that I felt um, needed another guy, another leader to come in and, and kind of just help the team and improve. And I feel like it was a great place for me. Um, Coach Holmes, he, 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 he contacted me probably like a week after I got in the portal. Um, basically just, just told me that he felt like this team needed another guy in the offensive room, in the quarterback room, and just a leader for the whole team. So I felt like it was a great fit for me, and that's all I wanted. How have you balanced trying to be a leader for this team while also getting acquainted with different situations? Yeah, well, it started off by just coming here and, and working hard. Um, I, uh, I had some of the guys, like Xavier or Valade, he's one of the guys that I'm probably closer to right now. And we both transferred, so we were talking early on, and after like the first two weeks I got here, uh, he came to my house one day and we were just talking. I was telling him that um, I haven't said anything or been real vocal to anybody in the first two weeks just because I wanted everybody to see how I work and for that to feed off them and, and they uh, feed off my energy, stuff like that. So, I mean, it ba I mean, mainly just, just starts off by my work ethic and the guys seeing how hard I work. And then after that, when they see that and I'm being consistent with that, I mean, it's easy to lead. Um, I mean, the hardest thing is just, just learning the guys, getting the chemistry with them and learning how they react to different situations and stuff like that. But I mean, that's things that I'm still improving with right there, so. What is your take on the offense? Do you think it's an offense that utilizes what you do best? Um, yeah, but I also think that I can fit in any offense. Um, this would be a little different for me. It'd be more on the center, more uh, huddle uh, offense, but I kind of did that in high school, so it's not too big of a difference. So, um, I mean, I think the offense really fits, like it definitely fits the guy that we have in our room. So, I think we'll do really good on offense. A lot of, comp a lot of competition. Yeah, what do you definitely. think of having six guys competing for the job? I mean, that's I mean that's what we all signed up for. That's what I enjoy. So, I mean, I'm ready for tomorrow. Ready to get going, just so we can start competing. So. It's all, I mean, it's all competition. Uh, we all show up and work every day. Um, at Florida, everybody wanted to be the best. You come here uh, in the morning, everybody wanted to be the best. So, I mean, it's not any different. I mean, for me, my competitive uh, level just, just increased, actually, just knowing that I have to come out and prove myself again. So, uh, I mean, I'm excited. What do you like better, the dry heat here or the humidity in the swamp? I'll say a dry heat here. The only thing is this heat lasts all day. <laughs> in Florida, it might be hot in the morning until probably 4 or 5 o'clock, and then it cools down. But I mean, I'm adjusting to it pretty good. So. What do you think you learned the most uh, during your time in Florida that you bring with you here today to hopefully implement and be a better version of yourself? Uh, I never regret going to Florida at all, just because of the simple fact that I learned a lot. and. Mainly the things I learned were, um, well, I gained a lot of experience, played against a lot of tough teams in a lot of um, hostile environments, um, sat behind a Highland finalist, watched how he, uh, how big of a leader he was, how he approached every day, attacked every day, how he was in the meeting room, how he walked around the building with just a juice and level and just a moxie to him. And 
mainly that's it, just just the experience and, and, and learning how to be a leader and, and corral the whole team to end up being successful. You talk about sitting behind a guy like Kyle, and as far as alumni go, Florida, I mean, Tim Tebow, and the list goes on and on. And mm -hmm. first quarterbacks that have come in there and made an impact. Right. So what was that like, being in a room for former players? Yeah, some of the guys came back a lot. Sebo, he came in and sat in on our quarterback rooms a lot, and he was a big help to me. Just basically telling me how to, um, I mean, like I said, just approach different things, different situations, um, just how to work, uh, how to, um, I mean, like I said, just get a whole team on the same page to be successful. What excites you most about this team, the tools, the weapons you have, and when you think about Asian football this season, what excites you? Uh, we're underdogs, and I see how these guys work and how well we connect and interact with each other. And honestly, um, it's kind of different for me because I wasn't always on teams like that that were I always got along with each other. When I say get along, I'm talking about offense and defense. Like everybody get along, hang out with each other in jail, are pretty good together. So I feel like. Um, that definitely plays a big part in, in what we'll do this season. I'm just excited to get to work tomorrow. Is it difficult to balance being a good teammate and being supportive in that quarterback room while all six of you are also competing to get one starting job? I mean, not really, because I've always been in quarterback rooms that were um, tight-knit and very supportive. So, um, and that's what I'm going to be to those guys. And I, hopefully they are the same to me. But um, I mean, I've always been cool with the guys in the room, and that's what I feel like is is, is needed, and it will be helpful for the whole team. At Florida, you played a lot of the option. Um, you know, when you come here, are you, are you excited with the running back from here to be kind of used in tandem with them? And the relationship you have with them, what's that been Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, we got guys like Daniel. He's been here for a couple of years. Uh, um, I'm excited to see what they do actually on the field. I mean, we've just been working out, and conditioning and training and stuff like that. Um, we got transfer. Um, Xavier Avalde, like I said, I call him X Factor. Y'all gonna find out why. But uh, those are guys that I feel like gonna make a real big, uh, a real big impact around the world, not just in the Pac-12. Um, we're all close and I'm just excited to see what we all do and put on film and follow count. Yeah, it all matters. Um, that's the biggest thing that I try to do as a leader is try to build a relationship away from football, away from this building. And, um, and that's all from stuff I learned from guys I saw and things I experienced. But, um, I mean, it plays a big part because I feel like that's why this team is so close and tight-knit, like I said, and because we all hang out. We all go out to eat. We go the bowling events to where we invite the whole team. You know, it's not just offense or just defense. I mean, we all are tight and close together, so it definitely helps on the field. But we all compete too, so it's definitely just um, a big thing and something that will help us. When it comes to bonding like that, has there been a highlight for you this summer since you've been here and been something that really sticks with you that you remember that you've been here? Uh, I mean, we do a lot of things, though. So, like I said, the bowling. We all went bowling probably like uh, two weeks ago. Um, I kicked everybody's butt, just so y'all know. But um, we went to the water park last week. That was fun, just um, the getaway and just cool down before we have to come all together and, and work. So, I mean, it's all been fun. That's something that I wanted to approach this team with. So. It's all, it's all fun and exciting for us. Do you have any family or friends, uh, close friends come out for the, well, obviously we don't know who the starting quarterback is, but for the yeah. opener, uh, how many plans for any close friends come out for the opener? Do you think we're starting now? Uh, not that I know of right now. Of course, like my supporting cast, my family, they'll all be here. Um, and I'm excited for that. Uh, my whole family, like I said, my team, we're all excited to see um, Sun Devil uh, atmosphere, Sun Devil Nation in action.
Um, so that's going to be exciting for us. We always hear the coaching staff emphasize the you know, NFL coaching style, but what about from the player's perspective? What's that felt like being here? Maybe how does it compare to some other coaching styles that you've experienced? Yeah, um, it's our motivation to us because everybody on this team had aspirations of going to the next level. Most of all our coaches have been there and I've done a great job there. So for this whole team, we're all attentive and um, it's something that this team needs. And this coaching staff, they bring a level of, of a discipline and attention to detail in everything we do. So like I said, by the discipline standpoint, that's definitely something that this team needs to improve on coming from last season. So I feel like um, it's all different. It's a, like, it's a different uh, atmosphere here. And that's something that I'm excited about to watch us go out and play. And was that NFL coaching experience part of the draw for this program to want to come and be a part of it? Yeah, definitely. Um, it was a big factor for me and my mom. My family just, um, like I said, we all have aspirations of going to the next level. And just knowing where Coach Thomas came from, um, his experience and, his, and, and how he can uh, develop his players, it definitely was a big factor for me to come here. What do you love most about competition? Quarterback competition, a lot of quarterbacks vying for the starting job. For you personally, what do you love most about that? Uh, bringing the best out of me. Uh, I've always been that type of guy to where when the, comp uh, when the competition level is raised for me, I meet at the top or is seated, and that's something that uh, I always work hard to, to make sure that happens. So it's basically just going out there and, and just having fun competing for this. There's not a lot of receivers in this unit that have a lot of experience behind them and numbers, and it looks like they're still trying to figure out who are going to be the guys. What is your take on the receiving court so far? Real fast group of guys. Uh, like I said, they are attentive and, and they want to be the best. Uh, that's something that's, that I love and that's exciting to me. Um, I feel like there's a lot of guys that's, that's going to um, be put on the map uh, throughout this season. And I'm excited to see what those guys do.